Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to the BRC's annual industry dinner and my first as Director General. You know, I can remember sitting just over there, at probably almost to the day at this time last year, with a huge degree of excitement and maybe, to be honest, a little bit of trepidation about the new job that I was going to be taking on in the new year. What would it be like? What would it feel like in 12 months' time when I would be standing here at this podium? Well, I know the answer to that one anyway. And that year has absolutely sped past. You will know, all know from what you've experienced that perhaps eventful is just maybe one way of describing it. And you've seen many other words up there on the screen that describe our industry tonight. And I've been thinking about one word that I could use that would best describe how I feel today, 12 months on, and that word is inspired. I've been inspired by the 23-year-old that I met who is a store manager in, front, in charge of over 100 people. I'm inspired by the young designer who, having launched her e-commerce operation, has now just opened her first shop. I'm inspired by the 18-year-old who'd been unemployed since he left school and is now head of a department and is so proud of his new job and his new suit and the services delivering to his customers. And most of all, I've been inspired by all of you, your resilience, your creativity, and the amazing work that you do each and every day. Now, I know that comes down to just one thing, people. You, the people in this room, the three million other people that work in the industry, and the customers that you serve. Our job at the BRC is simple. Whether you are a global, multinational, international business or a small up-and-coming one, our job is to make a positive difference for you. And one area where we aim to do just that over the months ahead is to focus on celebrating retail as a career. We all know that working in retail presents opportunities at so many levels, from school leavers who are ambitious, anxious even, for a career that will challenge and reward them, right through to older people who value our flexibility as much as we value their experience. That journey from shop floor to boardroom really is not a myth. We, the BRC, will be a champion of you all. I believe, that, and I'm sure you will agree, the future for this industry, for retail, is exciting. We are absolutely living in a period of unparalleled change and of opportunity. It's an industry that we in this country can be proud of, that every politician can champion and that our neighbours across the world can aspire to. You all make this industry a global leader. And that's why I am so proud to represent you and that's why I'm inspired to celebrate the progress that we're making together. I hope you all enjoy tonight's dinner. It's a chance to celebrate your achievements and to underline my and the BRC's commitment to you in the months and years ahead. Now, talking of inspiring people, it's my pleasure to hand you over to the BRC's chairman, somebody who's been a great inspiration to me since I started at the BRC, Mr Ian Cheshire. Something about never follow a class act, but particularly one dressed as spectacularly as that. Um, this is the boring part of it. It's going to be short, though. That's the good news. Um, I'm just going to say a few thank yous and make a couple of points and then introduce uh, Jim O'Neill, our guest speaker this evening. 
uh, before you then get on with your dinner. So make it short. Um, firstly, thank you um, very much, everyone here, uh, for coming. The BRC really does need to be representing retail in its totality. It's great to have your support, and we will, as Helen says, work very hard to make sure we're representing you in all the many challenges. Uh, and we need your support, your input. This needs to be an active membership as opposed to a check in the post. So please engage, and thank you for coming here tonight. Second quick thank you, the BRC event team done a fantastic job of putting this on. This doesn't happen by accident. It's a big, complicated event. And there's some uh, great entertainment, and so I hope you'll stay and really enjoy the evening. But thanks to the team. Um, then there's a, a quick thank you to the sponsors who made it possible. Global Payments, our headline sponsors, PayPal for the reception, and First for Skills, who are doing the probably the fun bit, the after show party uh, later on in the bars. Uh, but thank you for that. We genuinely appreciate it. And the last point so I really want to make about the BRC, about our priorities. Uh, as Helen said, we're, we're very, very passionate about retail as a career. There are more people working in our industry than any other single industry. There are more examples of people going from shop floor to the boardroom, as Helen said. And also, for those of you that watched uh, Robert Peston's fantastic series on shopping recently, a reminder of how dynamic and how much change this industry has brought and how it's created waves of opportunities for millions of people. And we should be incredibly proud about that. And we don't probably get the credit as an industry, and we need to be more front foot, show some leadership, and make sure government understand that. But in addition to ca uh, careers, I'd like you to understand the two other things that BRC will focus on in the, in the next year. And the big surprise is one is business rates. Uh, we have to change the system of business rates in this country fundamentally. It is not fit for purpose. We can't change it overnight, so we are calling for a cap. And I'm very pleased to see the Sunday Times joining in the review, building on the work that Retail Week started in terms of calling for reform. That's great. We need to limit it in the short term and then fundamentally change it. And we're working again. I'd invite you to get involved in thinking about an alternative scheme. It's not good enough as retailers to whinge about rates. We have to come up with a solution. So let's do that. Let's work together on that. And that's a key priority for us. The final third point, so if you remember careers, you remember business rates, the third point is trust, trust in retail. It's been a pretty challenging year, and I, I'd just like to pay tribute to Helen, who I don't think was quite counting on horse meat being the first order of the day, uh, followed by you know, a bunch of other issues most recently, a sudden burst of inspiration from the Deputy Prime Minister to launch plastic bags on us uh, without a consultation. Thank you for that. Um, what I'd like to see is, is us, pr again, tackling this agenda proactively. We have to get on the front foot and make sure that we're making our case for why we, with millions of customers daily, with tons of customer data, are more trustworthy than, frankly, something like Which, which has 30,000 members and has no credibility and certainly isn't dependent on real customers. We have to make the case for trust, and there are challenges, things like Bangladesh, clearly, we have to deal with. But I think we can do it, and we need to have the confidence in our brands and our people and to be ambassadors for why we should be trusted as retailers. So the BRC is going to be about careers, it's going to be about business rates, and it's going to be about trust. And I think with your help, we can have a, a great, successful year ahead. Really looking forward to working with you. And again, congratulations to Helen for a terrific first year. Very glad she accepted the job.